Hey Divination, welcome to our brand new mini series How to add custom templates and design to Divi's blog post formats. The blog is one of the most important parts of your website because this is where all your dynamic content resides. Out of the box we have a brilliant layout but if you customize it and make it look slightly different this makes your website unique and also a bit more creative. So in this mini series we'll be showing you step by step how to customize your layout to make it look different and make you stand out. So I can't wait to get started. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how we managed to create this. Welcome to part two of our three part mini series. So what we're gonna do in part two is we're going to use a lot of CSS to do our customizations. And if you'd like to follow along, I will also add the link to the CSS code in the show notes below. The main file that we'll be customizing is the single.php. So what you need to do, assuming that you've already installed your uh, chart theme, you need to go into your main theme and copy the single.php into your chart theme. So let's do that now. So over here, we've got your WP content. So I'm just gonna double click and go into that. And this is where all your themes are. So I'm going to come over here and we can see here, this is my DV chart theme and this is our main DV theme. So I'm just going to open this in a new tab. So we can see here that uh, we don't have the um, single.php. So we're going to come over here, go into the DV folder now. Okay. And you can see here that there's more files in here. So what we need to do is to find that single.php, which is right here and then we need to copy it so i'm just gonna drag it over here to my child theme okay so that's it that's all we need to do so this is the file now that we are going to be adding all our code to to achieve those customizations okay so the next thing we're going to do now is to open this single uh, php so i'm going to use atom to open this So the first thing we need to do is to come over here to line 11. Add this code below that main content div tag. So I'm just going to paste it in here. And as I mentioned before, this code can be found on our blog post, which I'll link in the show notes below. The next stage now is taking out what we don't need. Now, since you have a new section for your featured image, post title and post meta in place, you need to take out three sections of code that were being used to display your featured image, post title and post meta by default. So I'm going to come over here and delete it. It's on about line 31. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that line. The next line that we need to delete is around line 36. And this is the post meta. And then finally, this is the line that we need to delete, which prints the thumbnail. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that too. Now, if you get stuck and uh, this doesn't work for some reason, we have the full code of this single.php on our blog post, which I'll link in the show notes below. Okay, so now, now that you have all that in place, we can go ahead and save this. So I'm going to come over here and click on save. Okay, so that's all we need to do for part two. In tomorrow's post, which is the final one, we are going to add some styling to our post format. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we produce a video. We are going to be producing more videos similar to what you're seeing today. So until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.